We can't wait to be back here in church next week. But because of coronavirus, there are some restrictions that we have to follow. So let's start by going outside and seeing what it will look like when you arrive. When you arrive on a Sunday morning, someone will greet you at the front door and one household bubble will be allowed in at a time. Now, if there are a few people waiting to come in, we'd ask that you just line up against the wall here, making sure that you are two metres apart and keeping yourselves safely distanced. And before entering the building, please make sure you have your face mask on. Once inside the building, the first thing you'll be asked to do is to sanitise your hands. And then someone will sign you in so that we have a record of who has been in our building. We will also check that you have no coronavirus symptoms. So please do not come to church if you have a high temperature, if you have a new continuous cough, or if you have had a sudden change in taste or smell. Once signed in, then someone will take you through to the main hall. Now at all times, you must make sure that you keep two meters away from other people. So that means no handshakes, no elbow shakes, no feet shakes, no any other part of the body shakes. And once you come into the hall, you'll notice that it looks a bit different. Every single chair or sofa has been separated with a distance of two meters in mind. Once you come in, your household bubble will be shown to a chair or a sofa. Once you sit down, you must stay in the same place throughout the service unless you need to go to the toilet. And if you need to go to the toilet, please make sure it's only you or your household bubble in there at the same time. If using the toilets on a Sunday morning, please make sure that you use the hand sanitization points before entering the toilets. And please make sure after you've been to the toilet that you wash your hands thoroughly for at least 20 seconds with soap. This way we can all stay safe and clean. Unfortunately for the time being there is no tea or coffee but as soon as we are allowed to that is the first thing that we will reintroduce again. Music will still be a big part of our worship but for the time being, we are not allowed to sing inside the building. But you can sign and you can dance by your chair. These things we can still do. We can still express ourselves, but just for the time being, no singing. To avoid congestion in the building, there is a one-way system. And at the end of the service, we're going to ask people to leave via the fire exit and through the car park. But please wait at the end of the service because we'll ask people to leave one family bubble at a time, just so there's not lots of people going to the doors together. Once you have left the building, please do not congregate in the car park because there may be cars moving around at this time. But remember, you can meet with people in the parks nearby safely in groups of six or two households. So please, you know, after the service, if you want to meet up with someone safely, please do so. So just to recap, when you arrive, someone will meet you at the door. Please make sure you have your face mask on before you enter. When you come into the building, sanitise your hands before signing in. And please don't be offended if we ask if you've had any COVID symptoms. Once signed in, you'll be taken through to the hall where you will be shown your seat for the service. Please remain in that seat unless you need to go to the toilet. There are plenty of places around the building for you to sanitise your hands throughout the morning. During the service, we ask that you don't sing at this current time and that you remain in your seated area. At the end of the service, you'll be asked to leave via the fire exits at the side of the hall and to leave through the car park. We realise that coming back to church is going to be different 
and unusual and unfamiliar but we really want to be able to spend time together in fellowship and worship and hopefully soon the prayer is that the restrictions will lift and we will be back in this garden with Minetsi cooking on the barbecue. Thanks in advance for helping us keep our church safe.